You don't always have to dress up for New Year, but sometimes it helps. So what are you going to do this New Year's Eve and for the rest of New Year? Here are five tips. Tip number one is the obvious one. Every New Year's Eve, Goa is party central. There's lots you can do. Trans parties on Vagator Beach, the sunburn after party, freaking out on the banks of the Nerul River, going to one of the many theme parties organized by the hundreds of expensive resorts in Goa. You can do all of that, or you can do what I like. I go, I sit by the sea, and I contemplate my life as the New Year begins. Tip number two is in many ways the exact opposite of tip number one. If tip number one is about Goa, which is the sea, tip number two is Jaisalmer, which is the desert. I don't know if you've been to Jaisalmer, but it's this magical city that rises mystically in the middle of the desert. There's no airport that works anyway. It's miles from anywhere, and it's a really spectacular destination. You can go there for the architecture, you can go there for the desert, or you can go now for the desert Gatsby and that's the Goa-like thing. They have a special event which takes three days over New Year and you get trance music, you get fun, you get all the things you'd find in Goa too. Tip number three is Kerala. I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, isn't that like Goa? Well, no, it isn't. Yes, there is a beach in Kovalam and it has Goa-type activities on New Year. But what I'm recommending is quite different. I'm recommending the backwaters, which is what makes Kerala so spectacular. It's still water that goes into the sea. What you do is you take a rice boat. A rice boat is a Kerala boat that you can live on. And you can gently go through the backwaters, see the villages, see the forests, see everything on either side of you. And as the New Year comes in, you will be completely on your own in a magical land that's straight out of Joseph Conrad. Tip 4 is a place you may not know very much about. Have you heard of Diu? What people don't realize is that when the Portuguese had colonies across the west coast of India, there wasn't just Goa, there was Daman and there was Diu. Very little is heard about Diu, which is probably a good thing because not that many tourists go over there, but it has all the natural beauty of Goa without the tourist hordes. It's got a lot of culture, much of the population is Gujarati speaking, so the sense of the view is very different from a sense of Goa. And now, if you're in the mood for partying, there's the Fiesta, a three-month long festival, which they call Asia's longest beach festival. And for tip five, well, India's metros, that's the right place to be on New Year's Eve, isn't it? Well, yes and no. Delhi is fun on New Year's Eve, but be careful about drunk driving. Bombay is always fun, it's a party city, but two special places. I always enjoy Calcutta on New Year's Eve because that town knows how to party, there's a lot of warmth. And I especially enjoy Bangalore, and you know why, because normally in Bangalore, at 10 o'clock, everything shuts down for fear that people will turn into pumpkins otherwise, but not on New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve, they party all night and the whole city comes alive. So that's it for this time. Five tips for New Year's Eve. Whatever it is you do, keep us informed, send us questions, because as you know, you can ask me anything. As for me, Happy New Year to you and off I go.